Okay, so this is the first week of videos back from Christmas break. Cycle three of 2020, even though it's the first month of 2021. This is the fourth month. That was the last month. Graduation is at the end of this month. These are the videos for Monday and Thursday. So week 1A and 1B. We're working this month on power. This week we're talking about power through rotation. And we're, if you're in the kids class, you're getting your star for nutrition. So if you have kids who are in the red belt class, I talked to them about a challenge I had for them. So you might be hearing about that. We're going to start off with running in place. And then you're gonna throw punches. Just wanna make sure this is actually taping. Nothing more aggravating than spending half an hour standing here in front of the camera and then finding out that it didn't tape anything. Keep your hands up, keep your feet moving. Look at my back foot. We're gonna be talking about rotation. Every time I throw a punch with my back hand, my back foot's rotating. My front hip is rotating when I throw techniques with the front hand. But that's not my power side. My power side is my right, which is the back, and you can really see the rotation there. Um, and then we shuffle front and back. and knees. Make sure your standing knee stays bent and you're not just bringing your knee up but you're rotating your hip forward. We'll talk about that later in the videos this week. Other side. And skaters. kicks front side back <clears throat> when you do the side kick particularly think about rotating the standing foot Okay, so you should check your pulse now. If it's not at least 120, do that two more times. If it is 120, do it one more time. Okay, I already went and rode my bike. My, my pulse is way up over 120 plus. You don't need to sit here for six more minutes watching me running in place. But I want you to do two more sets of that. Run in place, punches, shuffle, knees, skaters, kicks. Then come back and we stretch. Reach up. Reach straight out to the front and reach for the floor. Lift your chin, grab your ankle, pull your chest to your knee. Not your head to your knee, chin is up. It's chest to your knee. Down in the side stretch, both heels on the floor here. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Come to the center, toes straight forward, push your knees out. Other side, chin up, chest to your knee.
down into side stretch. And turn, stretch your flexor. Okay, so now you're gonna come here and we're gonna do a stretch. This is called pigeon. It's a yoga pose. Ideally, it's not a good way to show you this, but ideally you want this knee to be at a 90 degree angle, but you also want your hips on the floor. I can't get my knee at a 90 degree angle and get my hips on the floor. So my knee is closer to four, is around 45. My hips are square to the floor and I'm pushing my chest down toward the floor. I start here and then I come up, hips are square to the floor and I'm lifting my chin and then other side okay 90 degrees if you can for your knee mine's only about 45 my hips are square to the floor and I'm pushing my chest down to the floor and then lift and lift my chin And I'm going to come to child's pose, which is, it looks like you're just hanging out here, but I'm pushing my butt back as far as it'll go. I'm reaching my hands as far forward as it'll go, and I'm pushing my chest toward the floor. Then I'm going to dig my toes in and push back to down dog. When I'm here, my heels are on the floor. My ears are between my elbows, and I'm pushing my chest back towards my knees. Then I'm gonna push back to a wide resting squat. And then for my squat, I'm gonna turn and touch one knee to the floor and come back to my squat. Other knee to the floor, back to my squat. Here, my heels are on the floor. When I turn, the foot that I've turned, that heel comes up. Both heels are back on the floor. The foot that's turned, my heel is up. Put your hands down, straighten out your legs, bring your feet closer together. And up. Okay, so we're gonna do three exercises. One arm, one legs, one arms, one core. We're gonna do them each, one set. I would like you to do two more sets on your own when we're done. The first one is squat and lunge. Now I'm gonna have to step this way, I'm gonna run out of space sideways. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Okay, when you do your squat, your toes should be straight forward and your shoulders should be over your hips. You shouldn't be out here, so it's here. And when you do your lunge, your knee should be over your ankle, not out there. So squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Okay, then I want you to get down for push-ups as if you have a partner. If you have a partner, this is even better. But you're going to do a push-up, facing your partner, and you're going to come up, and you're going to tap hands. Push-up, tap hands. If you don't have a partner, push up here, tap the floor. Push up, tap the floor. Or push up and tap a piece of furniture, but tap something. I don't want you just doing push-ups. I want you to have to balance yourself on one arm which disturbs your equilibrium, which makes your muscles work harder. And then the last one I want you to do is a sit-up. Okay, when you do your sit-up, you never go completely flat. My shoulder blades touch. My head never touches the floor. You also never come all the way up. That's a resting place. It doesn't require any work to be there. So you're gonna go tag the shoulder blades, Halfway up, punch, punch. 
Tag your shoulder blades, halfway up, punch, punch. Okay, I want you to do two more sets of each of those. So, 10 times, 10 squat lunge, 10 push up, touch, 10 sit ups, and then one more time. And then when you come back, we're gonna talk about um, generating power through rotation. Okay, so if you were in class, we would put um, focus pads on the floor. I don't have focus pads, so I'm gonna use pot holders. Okay, so I'm gonna put my pot holders on the floor. One, two, three, four, five. I have more of them, but I don't think you can see them all anyway. So putting more than that's not going to do us any good. So what you do to start, I'm going to start here. I'm going, my feet are facing that way. I'm just going to step over one, and now my feet are facing that way. Look at what happens to your hips. Step over, hips are rotated. 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 You can't see my, you can't see my pot holders, can you? See, those are all my little pot holders. The kind that when you were a kid, you made them on a loom. I still have a loom. I made a couple more recently because they were getting old and yucky. Then the next thing that you can do is you get through a roundhouse kick. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to rotate this foot. So I throw the roundhouse kick. Then I'm going to rotate the foot I'm standing on. It's facing that way now. It's going to face all the way to there, and my whole body is going to be facing the other side when I finish the kick. Don't kick the camera. Okay, then I would like you to do that again, but have somebody hold the target for you. Um, if, if you have a focus pad, that's good. If you don't, use another pot holder or a piece of paper or something. Then we're going to do the same thing with the side kick. I'm going to start here. I'm going to rotate my foot and my hip and throw the side kick. And again, and again. And I think I'm gonna kick the camera on that one. Okay, so I want you to do that. Again, put a target there. Okay, so now I don't need so many, quite so many targets for the next, for the next one. I guess I will need those again in a minute, but not yet. We're gonna do jab cross. So we did jab cross in the warm up, and we talked a little bit about this when we were doing the warm up. Um, but I want to talk a little bit more about it. My power here comes. My shoulders are rotating, my elbows, my wrists, but the bulk of the rotation comes from my hips. And my foot starts it. It goes through my knee, through my hip, to my shoulder, to my elbow, to my wrist. So the whole side rotates, but the biggest muscles are the ones in your hips. So if you watch me do this. I'm going to rotate the front hip in and then the back one. So rotate, 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 rotate. And then you're going to put your, you're going to put your potholders back down again. I guess I should have picked them up. That's okay. Extra steps is not a bad thing. Potholders. I think I got them a little closer this time too, so I don't crash into the camera. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to start in my guard stance. I'm going to rotate into my jab, rotate into my cross, and then rotate this foot more and throw a roundhouse kick so that I'm here. Rotate into my jab, <clears throat> into my cross, rotate more into the roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Jab, cross, roundhouse kick. Okay, so now I'd like you to put somebody there to be your target. And I want you to do it two ways. I don't ever want you to not rotate your foot on your round test kick because that's a good way to hurt your knee. But I want you to do jab cross without any rotation. Then I want you to do your jab cross with rotation. And I want you to feel the difference or hear the difference on the pads or have your pad holder say, yes, I hear the difference. 
Okay, then once you've done that, we'll come back and we'll work on some curriculum. Okay, forms. Um, oh, okay, that was just a squirrel. This is, this is the place where you really are going slow enough where you get to see where the rotation comes from. So we're gonna start off with basic form one. I look, chamber, step. I step back in Chungle Chassis this way. So I rotate through Soko Chassis to Chungle Chassis again. That's where my power comes from with my hips. When I step and punch, my hand goes from here to there, so there's rotation there. My shoulder pulls back a little bit, and I punch. Same thing on the other side. I come forward, hands chamber here, step back. So I'm really in triple chassis facing that way. I rotate through soccer chassis. My hip rotates, my shoulder rotates, my hand rotates, I low block. Three times step and punch. One, two, three. Then the rest of the form is the same way, but I want you to focus on where you're going, on what each of those moves is doing. So I want you to think here about stepping back to Chingle Chassis, through Soka Rip Chassis, to Chingle Chassis. Okay, basic form one. King on Shodan. Very similar. Look, chamber, step back to Chungle Chassis. Rotate through Soko Root Chassis to Chungle Chassis block. Step and punch. Look, chamber, Chungle Chassis, Soko Root Chassis, Chungle Chassis, pull away. So I'm scooping, there's rotation on the down and my hand is going from palm facing you to palm facing me. Back fist. Rot I come up, I come up, I come up. And as I fall, I rotate my hips as I punch. Look, jingle chassis facing that way. Through Soko Rip to jingle chassis. Back to Soko Rip. Jingle chassis again. Feet together. Soka Rip Chassis, Chungle Chassis. Soka Rip Chassis, Chungle Chassis. Soka Rip Chassis, Chungle Chassis. Three quarter turn. chamber here, foot goes back, and I'm going to rotate my hips and drop my weight. So this is a combination really, a backup mass, which is next week's thought. Okay, king on sadan. Start here. In, across, Okay, my shoulders rotate here. My wrists are, well, my wrists are rotating because my elbows are rotating, but I'm going from palms towards me to palms away. Same thing on the other side. Back to the hip, step out. Shoulders are gonna rotate. Elbows are gonna rotate, which rotates the wrists. Step in, come through soaker chassis. Rotate to chungle chassis. Here, I'm gonna rotate my shoulders my elbows, which are gonna rotate my wrists. I'm rotating my, I'm not coming way across, but I'm rotating my hip, which is pulling the, um, the person's hand in for the motion defense. On the side kick, I rotate my foot and my hip. Land in Soko Rip Chassis, come through, I mean, land in Trickle Chassis facing this way. Come through Soko Rip, Rotate the back hip chungle chassis to the, the elbow strike. Pull away. Rotate my foot and my hip. Strike. Now I'm in chungle chassis here. Hands are going to come to this hip. I'm going to come through soko rip to chungle chassis. Front kick, kick. Your hips are rotating forward. 
hands are starting here, palm away from me to palm toward me. Turn, rotate, through the silk over shasti, two single shasti, great. Front, hip rotates on the front hip. Through the silk over shasti, two single shasti. Hip rotates on the front hip. Shoulder, elbow, shoulder rotates, force the wrist to rotate. Same thing here. And this one I'm going to step forward. The roof over wrist. Two single shots with this, Front knee is just like a front kick. My hips are rotating. Shoulders, elbows. Hips, shoulders, elbows. Everything. Sip soup. This one is all about rotation. It's all about the stance. This one is all about stance transition. Through soko rip to chingle chassis. Through soko rip, chingle chassis. Am I on the right side? I think I went the wrong way. Left foot. Through soko rip to chingle chassis. Try this one more time. Okay, step back. That's where I went wrong. Through soko rip to chingle chassis. Through soko rip to chingle chassis. Here I'm rotating my hips and my shoulders. One, two, three, four. I went rotation here and backup mass. Rotation here, backup mass, same thing. There's a lot of backup mass in this form. Here I'm gonna rotate on my front foot and my back wrist is rotating. One, two, three, four. Okay, through chingle chassis, through soaker chassis, chingle chassis, through the crane stance to soaker chassis to trimble chassis. Through the crane stance. Soaker chassis, trimble chassis. Through the crane stance. Soaker chassis, trimble chassis. I have a three quarter turn here. My entire body is rotating. Here, back up mass, shoulders, wrists, elbows are rotating. Through soaker chassis, trimble chassis. Through soaker rip chassis, shingle chassis, same thing going back. And back. And then one more form. Um, Yakuro Idan. Am I in the video? Okay, now I'm in the video. One. My hips are rotating. My wrists, same thing, hip, wrists, back up mass, back up mass. I'm rotating my hip and my shoulders here to block. Shoulders, through soaker rip chassis, two chingle chassis. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna step in. I'm rotating my body to turn here and strike. Pull back, big circle, rotation here, back up mass. We're just going to skip over these two ones here. So go to chassis, shingle chassis, rotation of my shoulders, rotation of my shoulders, back up mass, step forward. So my hips rotate, both my wrists rotate. Same thing going the other way. I'm going to come through Soko Rip Chassis, Shingle Chassis. So my hips rotated, shoulders are going to rotate. Hips and shoulders, shoulders. My hip, I mean my shoulder, my elbow rotate here. Hip rotates on the front hip.
right out of the screen. Okay, so practice all of your forms. Um, so if you're a beginner, go back and do all the forms you know. But think if so if you're black if you're Don, especially if you're second or third, if you want to do all of them, that's cool. But pick at least one more from each rank and go back through them and try to figure out where the power was bringing rotation in each one. Okay, Tung Shido. Cycle. This is actually cycle three for 2020, even though it's January of 2021, we're still finishing up this cycle. Um, it's month four, week one, this is the Monday video. You should have done your warm up, your stretching, your conditioning, and we did rotation drills. Um, this month you're getting your stripe for power. In the kids class, they're getting their star for nutrition, and I'm certainly not gonna lecture you guys about nutrition, especially since if there's 10 of us in the room, there's 10 different, um, opinions on what's appropriate nutrition. However, if you were interested in the, I don't want to say diet, lifestyle that I used. So over the last two years, lose 35 pounds and cure a bunch of serious health issues, send me a message and I can get info to you. We're going to start off with one steps. So we're working on rotation this month. We're going to run through each one of them. We're going to talk about where the rotation comes from. Power, power this month, this week, power through rotation. So the first one, I step back with my right foot. I step into Soka Rup Chasi. So as I come forward, my hips rotate. I throw the, the block in Soka Rup Chasi. And as I do my uppercut, my wrist rotates from palm down to palm up and my hip rotates. And that's where the power comes in the strike. When I do my front kick, the power comes from this rotation of my hips forward. I land in Soka Rup Chasi as I block. And again, I rotate my hip to Chungle Chassis on the strike. Pump front kick, land in Soka Rup Chassis, block, hips rotate, there's my strike, there's my uh, power on the uppercut. I step back into Soka Rup Chassis, low block. So my power here really is much backup mass and rotation of my shoulder. Spin, drag, so I have power from that rotation power from my hips on the front kick, come forward through Soka Rup Chassis, um, hip, rotate my hip, and double punch. Okay, that's Il Sixtudera number one. Then we do number two. Same deal. This time I'm gonna step forward instead of stepping back. I step forward into Soka Rup Chassis as a block. I rotate into Chungle Chassis, and that's where the power comes from my strike. My strike also starts with my hands here and finishes with my hand here. So there's rotation in my wrist. Pull back. So somebody grab my hand. I'm pulling away, rotating my hip and my shoulder away. There's my motion defense. On the side kick, power comes from rotating this foot and my hip. Land in Soka Rup Chassis block. Rotate my hip and my wrist. Strike. Crescent kick. Traver's like a front kick. There's the rotation of the hip. And on the side kick, I turn my foot, kick, lay it in Soko Rip Chassis again, rotate and punch. Step back to Soko Rip. So my, my power comes from rotation here and back up mass as I settle. Spin, here's my rotation. Rotation to my hip, side kick, land in Soko Rip Chassis, double punch. And that's number two. Il six two day run number three. My watch is telling me something. Okay, doesn't matter, I guess. I'm gonna step back. My wrist rotates, my shoulder rotates, my hip rotates as I step back. Bring it back here. Rotation from my shoulder back fist. And then I'm gonna do a spin back kick. So I rotate here, my hip, push. Kick, land and soak up chassis, center block, rotate my back hip, punch. Pocky stoop. So my shoulder rotates, my wrist rotates. On the pocky stoop, my whole body spins. Rotation, hook, kick, land back, back fist. I'm going to step back, drop my weight, rotate my shoulders and my wrists. Block. Rotate my hip, 
my knee, my ankle, my wrist. Strike, punch, I'm in soaker chassis here, turn to chungle chassis as I do the second hammer. That's number three. Four, um, number four, step forward, center block. So my wrist rotates, my hip rotates, my shoulder rotates on the uppercut. Spin, there's rotation here and back up mat. And then strike, step away, my hips rotate, my shoulder rotates, back fist. Back leg, roundhouse kick. Land in soko rip chassis block, turn, punch. Back leg is gonna do roundhouse kick, so this foot turns, there's my rotation. Roundhouse kick, roundhouse kick, back up mass here, elbow, spin. So I have rotation here, and back up mass on the elbow. Step away, hip and shoulder and wrist all rotate here. <clears throat> Step back. My shoulders are rotating, my wrists are rotating. Low block, spin, rotation, roundhouse kick, land and soak or chassis, push down, palm strike, rotate my hip, spear. There's my, there's my power on the spear. All four, it'll six two day runs. Okay, so now we're back for weapons. We're gonna review the stick sets. Beginners are doing single stick this cycle. Intermediate is doing double stick set. So single stick starts here in your right hand. Hand is here. Other hand, there's enough room for your left hand to be at the bottom, right hand on top of the blood cup. Courtesy, step back. Okay, I'm gonna step forward. Rotation's gonna come here from two places. As I step forward, my hip is rotating. Actually, three places. My shoulder's rotating, my wrist is rotating. My wrist rotates again. My wrist rotates again. My shoulder rotates all the way around. And as I strike, my wrist rotates. I keep spinning. My whole body's going. I cover my head. I step down. My hip rotates. My shoulder rotates. My wrist rotates. <clears throat> Put it in the other hand. Pump front kick. Turn and step. Okay, so when I say my wrist rotates, can you see what my hand is doing here? So my wrist, there's rotation coming from my wrist too. So do that again. Blood cup, courtesy, step back, cover your head. Step forward, hip rotates, shoulder rotates, wrist rotates, wrist rotates, wrist rotates, my shoulder rotates, and my wrist on the strike. Step away. Cover your head, hip rotates, shoulder, wrist. Switch hands, pump front kick. Okay, that's from the beginner curriculum. For the intermediate curriculum, you need two sticks. I will do with it, I'm gonna do top and bottom. Um, just gonna run through them once, talk to you about where the rotation comes from. I'm gonna do the mirror, so that if you're facing me, I'm on my left, you'll be starting on that side, which if you're facing me, is gonna be on your right. Okay, so this is largely shoulder and wrist rotation. Shoulder and wrist, shoulder mostly, shoulder. Shoulder and wrist, shoulder, shoulder. Okay, so think about getting your wrists now involved in every one of these. After the second set, they come to here. Shoulder and wrist, shoulder and wrist, shoulder and wrist and back shoulder and wrist shoulder and wrist shoulder and wrist and back okay so if you have something in your house that you can hit if you have a heavy bag that's great um if you don't um i don't know what to, to tell you to hit but if there's something that you can hit um hit straight without any rotation in your wrist and then rotate your wrist and hit again you're gonna hear, you can really hear, there's a huge difference. So play with that if you can. Okay. Okay, so now bow. This one is my favorite. We're just gonna run through the bow form and we're gonna talk about where the power comes from. Okay, here, comes back. I step, I rotate into Chungle Chassis and the bow is coming, it's not coming straight down, it's coming across. So my hips are rotating 
and my shoulders and my wrists are forcing the bow to rotate. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, rotate my hips, shoulders and wrists going to make the bow rotate, and one more time. Now I'm going to pull back. My shoulders are what's making the rotation here. Step forward, hips rotate, the bow is rotating over this fulcrum. Same thing here. Obviously where the rotation comes from here, and spear. And I got a little bit of settle and forward lean on that spear. Same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna come forward. Rotate, settle and strike. I come up. So here the power is coming more from backup mass than it is from rotation. That's gonna be next week's thought, but that's okay. Power's power. Rotation here comes from this big circle, my shoulder and my hips at the end. Again, rotation comes from the big circle, from my whole body moving, and from my shoulders rotating into the strike. And again here, hips and shoulders, backup mass. Rotate, drop. This is just like at the beginning where your power comes from rotation around the fulcrum. Turn, power here is backup mass. Comes up, bow rotates, backup mass, and rotation. Same thing here, backup mass, rotation. I'm gonna turn my shoulders, turn my hips, my shoulder, my wrist, and same thing, hips, shoulder, wrist. Okay, fan form. We're gonna see how much of this I can do with my gloves on. We start here. This is backup mass. I step back, I rotate my hips on this strike. I rotate here and open backup mass. Okay, I'm gonna step forward, rotate my hips, my arms circle, I step back and rotate my hips as I drop my weight. Step out, turn my hips into chungle chassis. Rotate the, the fan, protect my face, protect my back. This is very much about backup mass. Come up, orbit strike. Obviously, where the obvious where the rotation is there. Step, back up, mass, strike. I'm gonna rotate. I'm gonna step. So my hips rotate when I step. Rotate my shoulder. Bring the fan across. Turn my hips again. Rotate my shoulder. Bring the fan back. Turn my hips again. Step. Open. I'm going to kick. So this it's a it's a heel kick, but it's a front kick, so that your hips are rotating here. Kick, back up mass, and then I'm gonna step out the chingle chassis, rotate my hips, and hop strike. Okay, um that was very choppy because I was trying to force you to think about where the rotation was coming from. Do it a couple more times thinking about where that power comes from, but try to make it a little bit smoother.